So I went car shopping a couple of days ago and I found this car that I really like and I'm ready to buy, okay? So I'm speaking to the person who was selling me the car and uh, essentially his words were, you know, how can you afford this car when you're so young? You know, so I think I'm about 28 years old now, okay, so I'm almost 29. Um, and he, th these are the words that he kind of, the first uh, ex uh, impression that I made on him was that I was young and how can I afford to buy this car being my age? But now what happens in my head though is exactly the opposite. I'm thinking to myself, why couldn't you afford this car earlier? You know, why couldn't you afford this car five, six, seven years ago? Why, why have you waited so long to achieve what you've achieved so that you can essentially afford this car? And as you can see, these are completely different mindsets. Like there is nothing in common there whatsoever with this person. If I was to sit down and talk to this person about life, they would potentially have, you know, they would not be able to understand where I'm coming from and I will not be able to understand where they're coming from. And this is where, this is why sometimes in life you have people who you just need to kind of get rid of in life, as tough as that sounds. Some people are just going to hold you back and they will go, they're will they going to pull you down because of their mindsets. That, this is the difference, right? This is why different mindsets are, you know, uh, making sure that you're surrounded by the similar type of mindset to you is so important, but also, this experience is valuable for me because I can see that not everyone has the same mindset. And this is what you're going to, to get as well. So it's actually not a bad thing to experience this type of mindset from time to time. Uh, but you just need to avoid uh, being surrounded by it, you know, most of the time. You know, just make sure you surround yourself with a mindset that's going to say to you like, why couldn't you afford this car earlier? You know, what, what have you not done to make it uh, make it so that you can you can afford it earlier, earlier in life? And yes, some of you may say that, you know, this is a bit too much. You know, why couldn't you just enjoy your success? You know, I do enjoy it. But in, if I want to keep pushing, if I want to keep reaching this, the, the next level over and over again, I cannot really satisfy myself with my current situation. Yes, like I've said, I'm going to appreciate, I'm going to be grateful for what I've done. But if I just stay stuck in that appreciation uh, kind of zone, I will never be able to escape it because it's actually, you know, I can sit back now and my business can run itself and I can have a good life. But that's just not, you know, what my mindset is about. And this is, it's like a double-edged knife. And people like myself and potentially yourselves, uh, you know, when we achieve something, we want to achieve something else. We, we could never really kind of sit there and enjoy what we've achieved so far for a long period of time. Yes, we could pro probably do that for a month or so, but then we get bored.